These are the so-called Freudian slips, where a speech error supposedly um, manifests the uh, unconscious repressed desire of the speaker. I think most psychologists who study speech errors are skeptical of the Freudian theory, that most speech errors are more mechanical. You uh, have a, uh, you're, as you're saying one word, you're thinking several words downstream, you're planning, and so a s sound of a word that you're going to say gets confused with what you're saying right now and you make an error. So the famous examples in English are from uh, the Reverend Spooner, uh, a, a minister in the 19th century in England who gave us the word Spoonerism uh, for that kind of error. Uh, and it won't translate well into Portuguese because it depends on the sound, but an example is he said, uh, you have uh, hissed all my mystery lectures and tasted the whole worm instead of missed all my history lectures and wasted the whole term. Uh, or in a wedding ceremony said it is now kistamary to cuss the bride instead of customary to kiss the bride. <laughs> now these have funny meanings uh, and we all make those errors by the way. Spooner made more than anyone. Uh, but if you look at those errors they consist of switching to vowels or switching to consonant clusters and probably there was no hidden desire uh, to express the uh, humorous meaning.